Ruth chapter 1 There was a famine in the land during the time of the judges and a man from Bethlehem in Judah departed with his wife and two sons to sojourn in the country of Moab The man was Elimelech his wife Naomi and his two sons Malon and Kilion They were Ephrathites from Bethlehem, Judah. A little later, after they had settled in Moab, Naomi's husband Elimelech died. She was left with her two sons, who married Moabite women, one named Orpah and the other Ruth. After living in Moab for about ten years, Malon and Kilion also died and Naomi was left bereft of husband and two sons having heard that Yahweh had come to help his people by giving them food Naomi prepared to return home with her two daughters in law she took the road back to Judah it was then that Naomi said to her daughters in law Go back, each of you, to your mother's house, and may Yahweh be kind to you, as you have been to your dead and to me. May he also grant each of you rest in the home of another husband. She kissed them goodbye. But they wept aloud and said to her, No, we will go back with you to your people. Naomi said, return home my daughters why should you come with me when i have no more sons to become your husbands return home my daughters i am now too old to marry again even if i hope to have a husband tonight and give birth to sons would you remain unmarried waiting for them to grow up no my daughters i won't share my lot with you for it is too bitter yahweh's hand has been raised against me again they sobbed and wept then orpa kissed her mother in law goodbye but ruth clung to her now me said look your sister in law returns to her people and her gods you too must return go after her ruth replied Don't ask me to leave you for I will go where you go and stay where you stay your people will be my people and your god my god where you die there will I die and be buried may Yahweh deal with me severely if anything except death separates us realizing that Ruth was determined to go with her Naomi stopped urging her So they two went on till they reached Bethlehem Their arrival set the town astir Women asked Can this be Naomi She said to them Don't call me Naomi Call me Mara for Yahweh has made life bitter for me I came away full but go back empty Why call me Naomi when Yahweh has afflicted me Thus it was that Naomi returned from Moab with her Moabite daughter-in-law and arrived in Bethlehem as the barley harvest began Ruth chapter 2 Naomi had a well-to-do kinsman Boaz from the clan of her husband Elimelech And Ruth the Moabite said to Naomi Let me go to pick up the leftover grain in the field whose owner will allow me that favor Naomi said Go ahead my daughter So she went to glean in the fields behind the harvesters It happened that the field she entered belonged to Boaz of the clan of Elimelech When Boaz came from Bethlehem he greeted the harvesters Yahweh be with you They returned the greeting Yahweh bless you 
Noticing Ruth, Boaz asked the foreman of his harvesters, "To whom does that young woman belong?" The foreman replied, "She is the Moabite who came back with Naomi from the country of Moab. She came this morning and asked leave to glean behind the harvesters. Since then, she has been working without a moment's rest." Boaz said to Ruth, "Listen, my daughter. Don't go away from here to glean in anyone else's field. Stay here with my women servants. See where the harvesters are and follow behind. I have ordered the men not to molest you. They have filled some jars with water. Go there and drink when you are thirsty." Bowing down with her face to the ground, she exclaimed, "Why have I, a foreigner, found such a favor in your eyes?" Boaz answered, "I have been told all about you, what you have done for your mother-in-law since your husband's death, how you have gone with her, leaving your own father and mother and homeland." to live with a people you knew nothing about before you came here may yahweh reward you for this may you receive full recompense from yahweh the god of israel under whose wings you have come for refuge ruth said may i prove worthy of your favor my lord you have consoled your servant with your kind words though i am not the equal of your maid servants Boaz called her at meal time come over have some bread and dip it in the wine as she sat among the reapers he handed her some roasted grain she ate her fill and had some left over when she rose to glean boaz instructed his men let her glean even among the sheaves and do not scold her and pull some stalks from the bundles leave them scattered for her to glean she worked until evening and when she threshed what she had gleaned it amounted to about an ephah ruth carried back to town the threshed barley which she showed to her mother in law she also gave her what she had left over from lunch Naomi asked her daughter-in-law Where did you glean today Where did you work May the man who took notice of you be blessed Ruth told her mother-in-law about the owner of the field where she had worked His name is Boaz she said Naomi exclaimed May Yahweh bless him God indeed is merciful both to the living and the dead this man is a close relative one with a right of redemption over us ruth continued he even told me to stay with his servants until they finish harvesting the grain now me said it will be better for you my daughter to go out with his maid servants than to go working in some other field where harm might come to you ruth therefore stayed close to the maid servants of boaz gleaning until the end of the wheat and barley harvest and she continued living with her mother in law ruth chapter 3 later naomi talked to ruth my daughter is it not my duty to see you settled in a home where you will be well provided for and is not boaz who has treated you kindly with his maid servants a close relative of ours tonight at the threshing floor he will be winnowing barley so bathe and perfume yourself then put on your best clothes and go down to the threshing floor but don't make yourself known to him till he has finished eating and drinking take note of the place where he lies down to sleep 
then go and cover his feet and lie down there he will tell you what to do ruth answered i will do as you say she went down to the threshing floor and did as her mother in law told her feeling happy after eating and drinking boaz went to lie down at the end of the pile of grain ruth then approached quietly turned back the covering of his feet and lay there at midnight the man awoke when he turned over and felt someone lying at his feet he got up and was startled to find a woman there who are you he asked the answer came i am ruth your servant spread the corner of your cloak over me for you are a kinsman who has right of redemption over me boaz said may yahweh bless you my daughter this kindness of yours now is even greater than that which you have shown earlier for you are not gone after young men rich or poor have no fear my daughter i will do for you all that you ask since all my townsmen know that you are a worthy woman it is true that i am a close relative but there is another still closer stay here for the night in the morning if he wants to claim you good but if not as surely as yahweh lives i will claim you myself lie here till morning she lay at his feet till morning and got up before anyone could be recognized for boaz said it must not be known that a woman came to the threshing floor then turning to ruth boaz said hold out the mantle you are wearing she did so and he poured into it six measures of barley he helped her lift the bundle then went back to town ruth returned home to her mother in law who asked how did you fare my daughter she told her everything and added he gave me these six measures of barley because as he said he did not want me to go back to my mother in law empty handed naomi said wait my daughter till you learn what happens for he will not rest until it is settled today ruth chapter 4 Meanwhile Boaz went to the town gate and sat there waiting for the closer relative about whom he had spoken to Ruth when he saw him coming he called him by name and said come here and sit down and so he did Boaz picked out 10 from the city elders and asked them to sit with them which they did Then he said to the other man who also had right of redemption Naomi who has come back from Moab is selling the piece of land that belonged to our brother Elimelech I thought of bringing this matter to you before our elders here because as the closer kin you have more right to lay claim to it but if you have no wish to redeem it Let me know because I am next to you in line. The man replied, I am willing to put in my claim. I will redeem it. Boaz continued, If you buy the land from Naomi, you will also have to take the Moabite Ruth, widow of the late heir, and her sons will inherit the name and the land of the dead. The man said, then i cannot redeem it because i might endanger my own estate redeem it yourself it used to be the custom in israel that for a contract of redemption or exchange to become binding one party had to take off his sandal and give it to the other this act legalized transactions 
So the man took off his sandal and said to Boaz, Buy it yourself. Boaz turned to the elders and all those present. This day you are witnesses that I buy from Naomi all the holdings of Elimelech, Kilion and Malon. I also take Malon's widow, Ruth the Moabite, as my wife to raise up a family for her late husband, so that the name of the dead will be restored to his inheritance and be present among his brothers when they gather at the gate of his town. Do you witness this today? The elders and all those at the gate answered, We witness, may Yahweh make the woman coming into your house like Rachel and Leah, who together built up the house of Israel. May you prosper in Ephrata and be of good standing in Bethlehem. And through the offspring Yahweh will give you by this woman, may your house become like that of Perez, whom Tamar bore to Judah. So Ruth was taken by Boaz and became his wife. Yahweh made her conceive and give birth to a son. The women said to Naomi, Blessed be Yahweh who has provided you today with an heir. May he become famous in Israel. He will be your comfort and stay in your old age. For he is born of your daughter-in-law who loves you and is worth more than seven sons. Naomi took the child as her own and became his nurse. And the women of the neighborhood gave him his name, saying, A son has been born for Naomi. They named him Obed. He was the father of Jesse, who was David's father. This then is Perez's family line. Perez was the father of Hesron, Hesron of Ram, Ram of Aminadab, Aminadab of Nason, Nason of Salmon, Salmon of Boaz, Boaz of Obed, Obed of Jesse, and Jesse the father of David.